Round one, we have the choice. We'll play first. This hand is very good. This hand is very good. <laughs> Whirler Rogue. Whirler Rogue with Possessed Scab? This deck is insane. This might be one of the most powerful decks I've probably ever drafted in the format. Someone could verify that or not, but I, I definitely think this is up there. Jailer. All right. That is not even worth Reeve's soul. He should have actually attacked there because I think I would have debated whether I wanted to block or not there. So do I want to attack? Or do I want to chill? Kind of want to attack. Is that wrong? I feel like because if I get a land, I got Whirler Rogue, and then I'm in a good racing position. I'm going to attack here. I mean, granted, kind of gives him a free attack, but I started the offensive, so... Like, if I draw a land next turn, I feel like I'm going to be way ahead on the board. Pilgrimage. Not a big fan of Pilgrimage. But if he's ramping, could be good for him. I guess we do have some... We have an Imp and... There we go. And we have a Whirly Rogue, too. Gotta love that Whirly Rogue. Rox Muller. Alright. If we draw land, draw a swamp, we can hunger it. If we don't, we get the imp to block. Read the bones. Problem with read the bones is if I don't find a black mana, it could be in some trouble. Plus he has Jailer to tap down my imp. Which is interesting. Could actually just play a Tomaton. I have to think about this. This is interesting. I could play Automaton, and I have Automaton plus a Thopter to block a Mauler. And I could still swing for two in the air. I could read the bones, hope to find a black mana. If I do, play it, make my opponent pay three mana to tap down my Imp to get in with the Mauler, which... Presumably eats up his turn. And then I can proceed to Unholy Hunger the next turn. So I've got some real options here. I think I'm going to read the bones. I want to be able to Hunger next turn. We're looking for a black mana. All right, we got it. This is actually, it's actually not bad. I'm definitely leaving this on top. Question is, do I want to leave the Clash of Wills on top? I kind of do. If I leave Clash of Wills on top, I can leave up Fetid Imp plus Clash of Wills, which is pretty sick, actually. All right, let's do that. So we play the Swamp. We get in with Thopters. Actually, hmm. 
Maybe I get it with Imp, too. But like I said, it eats up his turn if he taps down the Imp. Yeah. All right, we're just going to get it with the Thopters. So he has to eat up his turn using three mana to tap down my Imp. And then I still get to leave up Clash of Wills, which I think is good. And then on my turn, I can Unholy Hunger. Hopefully, I get to Clash of Wills, because then Unholy Hunger Spell Mastery is turned on. Oh my god. That was gorgeous. So he gets to swing with Rock Smaller, no biggie. We get to smash back for a million. Plus gain life. Jeez. This deck is so sexy. Alright, let's smash for a bunch. Now I guess we just leave up hunger for the mauler. So currently opponent has played two very good cards. Sentinel definitely being the all-star um, that we had the most timely counterspell on I've ever seen. And uh, Mauler, which is very good. And then Jailer and Pilgrimage, which I think are pretty substandard. Usually I consider pretty substandard cards, but he made great use of Pilgrimage this game. He went, th he went turn three Pilgrimage into turn four Mauler, turn five Sentinel, which is definitely good. I can't... Uh, I can't deny that. All right, let's smash. Pass turn. We don't have to unholy hunger on our turn because I can't think of anything in green or white that protects it. And he might use, I don't know, an aura or pump spell, something. Mauler number two. Marauder. I think we just... Claustrophobia. Continue to smash. Could Reeve Soul the Jailer now. I think it's not worth it. He... I can't imagine him leaving up three mana. Well, I guess I can imagine him leaving up three mana. Maybe I do Reeve Soul. Because if I draw a land with six, I can go... Well, what can I do, really? I guess I can do Automaton Reeve Soul anyway, but I can't do Marauder Automaton. I guess we just pass. I think... I'd rather Reeve Soul something more significant than a a jailer. I may still end up Reeve Souling the jailer. Multiple jailers. Multiple jailers. What does he tap though? Isn't that really the question? Because what? He taps a Thopter. I use it to make my Rogue unblockable. He taps Rogue. I still get in for three. Hmm. All right. So, just found a Possessed Scab target.
didn't tap either down. I wonder if he just missed it. Well, let's just do this. Now you might be wondering why I did that. Well, it's because we have lethal next turn, so we're going to force him to play something. And what's the worst that could happen? He plays like a 7-drop, I possess scab, bring back an unholy hunger. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Our deck played really well there, so I'm glad glad we got a good distribution of spells and lands, because I feel like whenever we get a good distribution of spells and lands, we've got a lot of powerful spells to play. Uh, opponent's playing multiple Jailers, which I still don't think are very good. But he's got Double Mauler, which is good. He's got Wild Instincts, which is good. And Sentinel of the Eternal Watch, which is certainly very good. Especially against our Claustrophobia. So that almost makes me want to, if we have the choice between Claustrophobia and Hunger, smarter to play the Claustrophobias on the Mauler and wait to play that, you know, counter on the, or the, well, in our case, the counter on the Sentinel, but the Hunger on the Sentinel if given the option. All right. On the draw against a green-white. Not a beatdown. It seemed like a ramp deck. Which means... I mean, yeah, there's Bone to Ashes. I, I, I think the only pick I could consider would be, like, Clash of Wills. Possibly cutting one Reeve Soul for a Clash of Wills. I don't think that's necessary yet. And I can, I pretty much can never sideboard out of creatures at this point. 12 is the bare minimum I feel comfortable with, even with double read the bones. Assassin looks like it's got its work cut out for it. Kill those jailers. Reeve Soul does seem worse since the only things we saw that we can kill with it are jailers. But I would say it would be too presumptuous to assume there's not going to be plenty of other targets for it. So... Let's let's just let's just run it the same again. All right, game two, we gotta keep. Certainly gotta keep here. No two drop. We got an excellent looking start here. No three drop. All right. Let's bash in. Beat the bones. Uh, bottom swamp. Scab doesn't have a ton of applications right now, does it? But I still think I keep it. How could I not? Like, how could I not? I mean, it brings back Read the Bones. <laughs> At worst, right? Suppression Bones, my imp? Surprisingly good against us, considering... Uh, Um, we have double possessed scab in hand. All right, I predict a mauler, so I'd rather use claustrophobia on that anyway. Naturalist taking out automaton. That's pretty good actually. Guess I'd rather him do it to my automaton than my claustrophobia. Well, now we might have a better possessed scab target in automaton. I'm not going to claustrophobia the naturalist. I think I'd rather possess scab and automaton. I think. Could possess scab to read the bones. How good is that? We're taking four at least. But then next turn I can go read the bones claustrophobia. All right. We're bringing back read the bones. I changed my mind.
All right, let's uh, read the bones first. Uh, let's bottom both of these. Here's a Reeve sole. Let's go Swamp, Claustrophobia. Do I want to swing with the scab? I mean, we're slightly behind on... damage. I could take him to 16 and crack me back at 13. I think I stay back. We want to win through some card advantage here. All right. It's got all the enchant hate he'd ever need. Mantle of webs. It's an interesting one. Well, Reeve Soul gets better, I guess. So it's going to end the turn, do that. Hmm. Might just play Deadbridge Shaman. Well, then he can Jailer to, hmm. I think now we possess Scab back to Automaton. All right. So I still think I keep possess Scab back. So that at least makes him use Jailer on his turn to attack us with the Naturalist. So let's let's possess Scab back Automaton. I don't want to do Read the Bones now that we're going to take at least another, potentially another 4 damage, but Automaton at least is going to potentially buy us some time. And then next turn I can go Automaton Shaman, which is pretty good. This can't bring back enchants anyway. I don't mind double blocking a naturalist either, I don't think. But I guess then a pump spell is a problem. Well, I think I already committed to it, so... I was expecting him to use Jailer, but... Hmm... I guess we double block. Any combat trick, though, is pretty bad. And there's a lot in, in green-white. All right, I guess I kind of botched it. I, I changed my plans. I think him comfortably attacking into it makes me want to do Automaton Shaman next turn. Swing with a scab. I shouldn't have committed to the double block there. Meaning, I should have attacked with Possessed Scab. It's basically all that means.
That's a good one. Let's go land, assassin. Um, swing with scabs. I mean, I could have used the assassin on the recluse, but that's okay. So now we'll do automaton. Now we can at least double block the naturalist. More comfortably. And if he's got a combat trick, we'll gain some life. Okay. Guess we'll chump the four damage. I can't kill the recluse anyway. Clash of Wills is not bad. Guess we... Just swing with one scab. Play dead bridge shaman. I can only clash of wills for five. But I guess that's enough to keep off a combat trick. I guess I don't love committing for the two for one, but it, I guess it's a two for two. It is a two for two. Mm. Actually, I think I let this resolve because the naturalist kills both of our guys anyway. And if he does it on the recluse. Mm, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it resolve. If he does it on the recluse, we might take three. That's okay. I'm still going to double block the naturalist. My thinking is I'd rather stop a combat trick for this. All right, we're in a bit of trouble here. Guess we trade with Force Mage. And then we get at least a few turns to find something. We've gained six lives this game, too. Jeez. I was thinking there was a combat trick, which is the reason why I didn't counter the Force Mage.
trying to think if there's any reason I want to hold lands. I don't think so. Alright. Not going to be able to beat that unless we find some removal. Mm, buys us a turn. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. Post combat. That was a close one. So now I need to find an unholy hunger. Or I think we just lose. Although I guess I could do a claustrophobia and it still takes care of half of the Sentinel, the Eternal Watch problem. I wish I did more here. Hmm. All right. Well, I think we're going to cut a Reeve Soul for a Clash of Wills, I think. He's got enough expensive stuff where that could ultimately be good for us. Um, I'm definitely surprised we lost this one since we read the bones twice. We gained six life off Automaton. But I think there was a point where I didn't commit to an attack. We still wouldn't have had lethal, though. Even if I had attacked more consistently, I think I would have only done maybe six more damage to my opponent. So, surprising loss. Super surprising loss, as a matter of fact. But it happens. Let's uh, cut one of our Reeve Souls for another Clash of Wills, because I think his stuff is ultimately more expensive than ours. And if we see as much lands as we saw that game, we should be able to counter anything. Um, all right, let's try this again. All right, we'll play first. This hand's good. I like this hand. Pretty, pretty much saving Clash of Wills for the big threats that we know are in his deck. I would say we're in pretty good shape right now. We get to Clash of Wills, first thing he plays. Unholy Hunger, the next one. Possess Scat back the Unholy Hunger for the next one. It's pretty strong. Force Mage is going to make it. Not interested in countering that. Um, guess we can Automaton. Like, solely because I have the Unholy Hunger. I 
Could actually just claustrophobia that. Counter the naturalist, maybe. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. He can play a caterpillar, but we'll accept that. Multiple pilgrimages? Jeez. No caterpillar. Shaman's a good one. He hasn't found a white mana yet. Pilgrimage. Just not good enough. Definitely want him to attack with the Force Mage. Let's say he draws a naturalist. We can only counter for four. Hmm. I guess Marauder gets better. Um, let's claustrophobia here. Makes our Marauder deal more damage when he trades with a Deadbird Shaman anyway. So we'll get in for five, which is actually a two-turn clock. Okay. I'm fine with this. I think it's a pretty good chance that we just kill him next turn. Especially since he's been off-white the whole game. So, we have a counter spell. We have Unholy Hunger for a big threat. All right, nice game three win. Glad we could get the match there. Um, our deck's very good. I definitely think our deck was, was uh, overall card quality was definitely better than our opponents. So I'm very satisfied to get a victory there. Um, I still don't like the pilgrimages, but they, they paid off for them well game one. But other than that, they, I mean, this was, this. I think this game is a glaring example of why pilgrimage is not a very good card. He was off white the whole game, and two ramp spells could not find him his white source. That sucks. The spell mastery should have been find a different other than green mana, you know? All right, we'll uh, see you in round two.